Hello, everyone. So I decided to kind of take a little different tactic. I had been asking a few people for some feedback on Catalyst because I wanted to understand a little bit more how what you guys are saying. And thankfully, I got a response. Of course, the others are still pending. Um, it's still early. I just sent it out yesterday. But I got a response that I thought would be that was interesting enough that I actually make a video about it because if this person is having that kind of it won't, it's not an issue. But if the person had that kind of a question, then there's a chance that somebody else had the same question. And it's pretty not easy to solve, but there is a solution to it. So here's the question that user Theo had. Said, I found the app to be user friendly, but I noticed that the images provided resemble real people rather than anime characters. Now, since I want to create driving training videos in an anime style, this aspect didn't quite align with my vision. Now, if there are options to customize or select more animated styles, that would be a great improvement. Now, I'm not quite sure when this person used Catalyst, but it has improved significantly. Um, I'd say over the past, in the, we were now in 2025, um, almost September. So it's really improved over the beginning of this year in the last nine months at least. So let me go over a couple of options um, for those who don't want images that look like real people, which can be problematic in this time of AI. Um, and we can go over the different ways and the different styles that we can even create within the preset styles in Catalyst. Great. Now here am I on the home page. And one of the things you'll notice if you haven't used Catalyst in a while is that you'll see different um, styles. This is like, these are like pre-made styles that users can just go into, present their script, and it'll actually generate in the style. For example, here we have a kid's story, and here we have an animal friend's problem solver, which is more of like an illustration drawing from a coloring book or from a from a storybook and then here we have a slice of life school day which is more of the anime style now any one of these you can go ahead click on it and then you can go ahead and customize let me show you what i mean by that so i'm going to click on the slice of life school day because this is anime style specifically now once you're here you can go ahead and set up your scenes. Now I go a little bit more into detail into this particular aspect of Catalyst in my other videos. I'm just gonna go through the sections that really kind of hammer in on the answer for that question. So let's go ahead and say, say since Theo is talking about a driving school, so let's see, mother teaches son how to drive before his learner's permit test. We involve those of us who have been there, we know what it's like. Um, so let's go ahead and I'm just going to drop this down to five scenes and we're, it's going to generate a script for me. Great. So this is, this is the script part. Again, we've got the number of five scenes and now we're going to go into the style. Now that we chose the anime style, it will automatically choose anime here. If you wanted to do something else, you could do that. But of course, we're going to stick with anime. Next up is going to be the cast. Keep your class engaged with my AI Cornell Notes Generator. Turn any lesson into instant flashcards and study guides your students will actually use. Okay, this is interesting. Apparently there's a squirrel involved. I, I won't ask any questions. Um, so here is the mother character, Linda, and then there's Jake, Sam, and the squirrel. Not a problem. So, for example, if you wanted to change the appearance of the mother figure, you go ahead and you choose the edit button and you go change appearance. Now you can create something from scratch or you can change from here, but since we wanted to really create something of our own, so let's go ahead and create from scratch. Now I've already come up with a custom character description and it's, it's a little bit long, so it's only got 250 characters or fewer. So I'm actually gonna do this right here. All right, so that fits the 250 characters. So go ahead and generate a preview of the character. And optionally, if you had a character reference that you wanted to, to use to base a character on, you can go ahead and put it right here. Now, here is the character that I came up with. Again, she's more relaxed, slice of life, and maybe a better character for what you want to do. But the idea here is that you can change the character and that change will spread throughout the storyboard once you do it early enough. So let's go ahead and save her as the character. And this is who she's going to be from now on. So let's go ahead and save her. And there she is. 
So that's basically how you go about using anime characters and actually just changing the appearance of a character to fit what it is that you want to do. So if you have any other questions about how to use Catalyst or how to really get into using Catalyst for your own purposes, check out my other videos on Catalyst and you can go ahead and play around with it. Thanks for your time and I'll see you guys in the next video.